Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Pick a praise, post a praise, give God praise. It's Wednesday, February 1st. First day in February, feeling good, full of faith, ready to flourish. Good morning, first hour prayer family. Jason, good morning. Everybody say, put your hand. Yes, he will. Everybody say, morning. Click a praise, y'all. Post the praise. Yes, he will. y'all happy february it's the first day of february january is gone january 2023 is history speaking of history happy black history month this is the month that we celebrate love and we celebrate black history good morning again ro Glad to have you all with me this morning. Tag, share, make others aware. We are on and praying. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be a great day. Day gonna be, gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great day. Gonna be, gonna be, it's gonna be. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. All right. Good morning. Welcome to First Hour Prayer. This is February. If you were born in February, happy birthday. Happy birthday to all. February babies, February 1st through February 28th. Happy birthday to you in advance. And happy Black History Month. And we thank God for all of those who have contributed to the history of Black people all the way back. And have made tremendous contributions. We thank God for that. Good to have you all on with me this morning. Virtual anointing. And I've got my Mark 613 oil refilled. Got it refilled with the olive oil. Virtual anointing for gentleness this morning. All across America. Virtual anointing for gentleness. And that's what we're on this week. And God would help us in this area of being more gentle. Before we pray about and for gentleness, let's sing a song together. Hosanna in the highest. 
Let our King be lifted up. Hosanna. Hosanna. In the highest. Let our King be lifted up. Hosanna. Be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Let our King be lifted. Lifted up, let our King be lifted up, let our King be lifted up, Hosanna, be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher. Be lifted higher. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Hosanna. Our Father, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, we glorify your holy name. You are God and God alone. We exalt your name together this morning. We thank you, Father, and for those who are watching the replay, we thank you no matter what time of day this is being viewed and listened to. God, we thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your power. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for this opportunity that we have to lift up your name, to praise you, to magnify you, God, to glorify you. We thank you for the doors you've opened and the ways that you made. We thank you for all the wonderful things that you have done. Oh, Lord God, we praise you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come more in us. Your will be done in us, with us, and through us. And not our will, but your will be done, O oh God. Forgive us our debts as we forgive all of those who are indebted to us in any kind of way. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. God, we're praying for the month of February. Deliver us from all evil. You see all things, oh God. You see what we cannot see. So we pray that you would deliver us from all of the evils of this month. We pray that you would protect us and preserve us and keep your promises to us. We are relying upon you, oh God, because you are reliable. We are trusting you because you are trustworthy. We are depending upon you. Oh God, because you are dependable. We thank you for your everlasting love toward us. We thank you, Father God. We believe you love us. We believe you care about and for us. So we lift up your name on today. We glorify you and praise you on today, oh Lord God. And we pray Father, that you would help us in this virtue of gentleness, that we would be filled to overflowing with the spirit of gentleness. Help us to be kindly affection one toward another. Help us to love each other genuinely, oh God. 
Help us to be patient with each other. Help us to forbear one another. Help us, help us, Lord God, to deal with difficult people around us and in our community. Help us to be patient, Father God, with difficult people according to your word. We want to be in your good, perfect, and acceptable will. We want you to be pleased with us. And so, God, we yield our will to you on today. We yield ourselves to you on today. We want you to get the glory out of our lives. We want you to be glorified. We want to have a good testimony, oh God. So we praise you and magnify you and we glorify you for the grace that you've given us to be gentle with all people in the name of Jesus, God. We give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor right now. Glory to God. I want to read this verse of scripture here where gentleness is concerned. And this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, beginning verse number 23. Again, I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. New Living Translation, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 through 25. Did you get that right there? Isn't that powerful? Don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. Oh, that's a good word for us on this morning. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. Be able to teach, and I like this part right here, Brian, I like this part right here, and be patient with difficult people and be patient with difficult people. Lord, if I am difficult, I pray that others will be patient with me. And I pray that you would help me to be more gentle. I don't want to be a difficult person. The servant of the Lord must not strive with those who oppose themselves. The King James Version renders it that way. There are people who are in an opposition with themselves. They're in a fight with themselves. Glory to God. We've heard it said, hurt people hurt people. Help us to be patient with difficult people. And you're going to encounter today difficult people. And the instruction is to be patient with difficult people. Gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Gently. Joni, did you get that? Gently uh, 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 instruct those who oppose the truth. And listening to that is kind of like what Jesus said about forgiveness and uh, salvation and the disciples said, you know, who can be saved? They, they said, who can do that? And Jesus prayed for them so that they could. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. You're going to encounter difficult people. Maybe you are married to a difficult person. Maybe you have difficult children. Maybe you have difficult coworkers. Maybe your supervisor or the owner of the company is difficult to deal with. But what does the word of God say? As a servant of the Lord, we don't get into arguments, but kind to everyone, able to teach, patient with difficult people. And Father, I just thank you that you've given us this grace. We have it. And we want to grow in it. We want to grow in our gentleness. We want to grow in this grace of gentleness. We, we desire this virtue of gentleness to grow in us. Glory to God. We want to be more gentle with the people that we care about. 
We don't want to be difficult people ourselves. So God, we thank you for deliverance from that and being in opposition to ourselves. Those hidden hurts, those unresolved issues, unforgiveness, bitterness, all of that emotional gunk. Father, we just thank you that you are delivering us, that you are cleansing us, that you are cleaning us so that we are totally and completely free. You know, Lord God, you know, and sometimes people are getting some anger that is displaced and we're not really angry with them, but it's built up from days or years. And so we want to be delivered, oh God, and we de we desire to see others delivered. Glory to God. When we have been rough with people, when we have been impatient with others. Oh God, yes, that's it. Minister Rivers, just add, we add, Lord, we ask you to forgive us. You said if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Let me show you here another verse of scripture dealing with gentleness. We need help with this one right here. Proverbs chapter 15, verse one. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. It takes a strong person to give a soft answer. It takes a strong person to give a soft answer. Glory to God. Sometimes you want to snap back. If somebody claps at you, you want to clap back. You know, you want to say something sharp back to them. But God said, no, don't do that. Now, do we want to do what the word of God says to do? Or do we want to do what we feel like doing? A soft answer turns away wrath. So, God, we thank you. We thank you for the strength to give a soft answer. We thank you for the strength, oh God. We thank you for the strength to restrain ourselves. They probably even deserve it if we were to give it to them. But God, we thank you for the self-control. We thank you for the personal restraint. And by the Holy Spirit, we can do it. We can do it. We can be gentle with everybody. We can be gentle with everybody. Are you getting this? Isn't this powerful? Isn't this rich? Glory to God. The servant of the Lord. That word servant. Doulas. The slave of the Lord. Meaning committed to God. Sold out to God. Owned and operated by God. Must not strive with those who oppose themselves. And God, we thank you. We want to be in your good, perfect, and acceptable will. We want to be able to practice restraint. And yes, there are difficult people around us. And there are difficult people in church. There are difficult people in ministry. And we pray that they would be delivered from being difficult. <laughs> what about that deliverance? Glory to God. What about that? Uh, yeah, Pastor, sure, I like that. Owned and I am owned and operated by God. Glory to God. He's my owner operator. People need to be delivered from being difficult. Start with me, God. Sometimes we, sometime we talk about other people being difficult. But I wonder how people view you. I wonder how people view me. A lot of people just don't tell you up front that you're difficult to deal with. They don't tell you up front. Your spouse, nine times out of ten, your spouse is not going to tell you that. Sometimes you need to ask that question. I have, you know, I've asked Pastor D, what is it like being married to me? <laughs> you got to be ready for the answer, though. Maybe in friendships, you need to ask that question. What is it like being my friend? And I don't want you to pull no punches. I want you to 
I want you to give it to me straight. I want you to give it to me straight, glory to God. Some of us are difficult to deal with. That can, that can affect you. Sometimes the reason why people can't hold a job is because they're too difficult to deal with. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sometimes the reason why people can't stay in a relationship, too difficult to deal with. Too difficult to deal with. And people say, oh, I'm just being me. Or everybody can't handle my energy. No, you're just difficult to deal with. That's all. You're just difficult to deal with. And God, we thank you for deliverance in this area. We praise you and magnify you. Start with me. We are the ones with the unclean lips. Start with us and we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus name. Amen and amen. All right, y'all. I want to be able to catch my daughter and grandsons going out the door. So I'm going to end it right here. God bless you. Happy February until tomorrow. I like you. I love you. And you make me smile. I'm going to leave this on so you can talk to each other in the vestibule. We call this the vestibule. Thank you, Donella, for the benediction.